But did it affect you? To some bit. Right. It affected me a little bit. Then I decided to change that into lemonade because <laughs> what you used to post on the on the notice board. Right. Like being a good presenter, you must do A, B, C, D. Right. You know, you don't have to like play with your voice to be a good presenter. Right. You have to do research. So yeah. I used to take the positive critic and leave the rest. Yeah. So it built it me built in a way. You. Yeah, it built yeah. me in a way. Right. So that's how I blew up. You know. Yeah. Now yeah. talk about your transition now from there to Radio Maisha and then to Radio Forty Seven, now, which you spent for uh, like uh, let's say over five years yeah. at Radio Maisha. So from there, I I did that show. Now, you know, doing a show and going to school was a little bit difficult, yeah? So, like, I'd already gotten this work. I had my certificate. Now, I, I need to, like, get my diploma, you know? Right. So, I got a guy who told me, you can just study from home and do your exam and get your diploma from the poly. So, I did that and did my exam. Little did I realize this guy conned me. Oh my goodness. So like he gave me the certificate, I went and graduated, you know. But on realizing that it's a fake certificate, now KBC was on my neck. Hey, you brought us a fake certificate. Right. I told them, no, this is not fake. You know, right. I studied. Okay. But Paul, told us that they are not doing outside exams. Right. So the guy duped me. So KBC had to let me go because of that. Right. So I didn't even do a month outside. Then okay. Barack FM came for me. Baraka. Yeah. yeah. I did Baraka FM for like eight years. Mm -hmm. Eight good years. Wow. After that, I resigned. Resigned because you're done with radio? I'm out. How are you feeling that time? You know. How is your mind? The problem <laughs> with regional FM stations, bro, is right. that you have the passion, you have the zeal, you want okay. to do this thing. The name is out there, but there's no money. money. They don't pay right. salaries, you know. Right. Yeah. So like, in short, you're like sort of a freelancer. Yeah. Yeah. And it's exhausting. <laughs> exhausting. Yeah. They're giving you permanent pensionable, but there is no salary. Right. So I decided to just quit. Uh -huh. you know, so what did you do during, from During that, that eight years uh -huh. is when I decided to start up my own company, Media right. Digital Media. I used right. to do uh, digital uh, campaigns for companies, you know, social media management for companies. So I decided to just let go of radio and do, uh, deal with my company. Right. Now, when I resigned... I didn't even do two days. Uh -huh. Milele called me. Uh -huh. Hi, Billy. Could you kindly send your demo? Right. I sent it. Uh -huh. After sending it, hi. Who was then the radio PC at Milele Titi then? Titi Nagwala. Right. Titi Nagwala. Legend, uh -huh. that guy. Uh -huh. Very good heart. So he told me, I sent the audio at around 7 in the evening. Uh -huh. At around 10, he called me, I need you in Nairobi tomorrow. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> you know, that time you don't have fare, you don't have anything. Yeah. So we had to borrow money from someone. Right. I went to Nairobi. He told me he wants to take me. Who do you want to work with? I told me. I told him, "Tafanya kazi na koliguangu. Ndio tunafanya na isai." Tell him to send Mr. the demo. Baruk, Baruk uh -huh. I sent another demo. Can he come to Nairobi on Tuesday? Okay. We, we we came to Nairobi. We did an interview, and they told us that you hired. Right. Yeah. And you began. And we began. But you didn't last for more than two months now. Bro, we were hardly two months. We were still in our probation period. Right. And our positions were being advertised, bro. How did that make you feel? <laughs> you were on a job, but they are advertising it. Bro, uh -huh. it was like, <laughs> it was hectic, bro. Uh -huh. And like, the people that are coming are gurus in the industry. The uh -huh. likes of Alex Makideo, the likes right. of uh, Jalas. You know, mm. that the people who are coming to replace you. And right. you're just there straight from Mombasa, a regional FM station, right. to a national FM station. And it's like, you guys cannot do this thing. Just right. get out of here. That's how I felt. But, you know, I told God, you yeah. are the one who brought me to Nairobi. Right. And I know very well you cannot shame me. Right. So, just let your will be done. Right. So, while the uh, process was going on, Linda Oriaso called me. He right. was in the PC for Radio Maisha. Radio Maisha. Hi, Billy. How are you? You good? Yes, I'm good come to our offices, we need to talk. Right. I went there, I talked to, to her and Tom Japani. They gave us a good deal. Now when Milele realized that uh, Maisha was, was like- Was to poach you. Yeah. Uh -huh. They were like, you guys, you know those guys are going to use you. Don't go. Uh -huh. <laughs> we'll give you money. How much are they giving you? We told right. them, look, look, we're going to give you 300K. Just stay. Uh -huh. You know, we just want these guys to come, set the pace, then we'll let you uh, uh -huh. do this thing. I told my colleague, this is wrong, you know. Let's yeah. not stay here. They've already proven to us that 
The, we already know who they are. Yeah, they are, they are not for us. It's like mm. they just want to use that for use us for a period of time and let yeah. us go. So we decided to go for less Gacha amount Moka. of money to mm. end the Maisha. Na pesa right. kidogo sana. Right. But Maisha, which was then you started with? Uh, what? The mount at Maisha. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to mention Taja Buana, person in person, bro. Milele called me with the 80,000. Uh -huh. 80,000. 80, yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, when we went to Maisha, they gave us 250. 250. Yeah, 250. Which is a good amount of money. Bro, from 80,000 to 50. 250. And uh, yeah. personally, I wanted to work at Radio Maisha. It was uh -huh. my dream place. It was place. your dream station. Yeah, that I wanted okay. to work there because it was very strong. You know, it had uh, all the things you want, you know. Okay. So we went there and uh, I will say I so owe which every is day this, to Radio Masha. Uh, which is this transition from Milele to Radio Masha? Like the year? Yeah. 2019. 2019. Yeah. 2018, 2019. 2018, 2019. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I started the breakfast show there with my colleague Baruch. Uh, the... The managers felt that it was not working, so they brought uh, Tricky, MCA Tricky. Yeah. Yeah, that's when it blew up. We yeah. did the show with Tricky for a long time, like two years. Yeah. Then uh, after that, when we blew up, Milele came for us. Again. But now, <laughs> I said, I wouldn't be beaten twice. How was your response when they reached out? <laughs> I told them, give me 800K. <laughs> uh -huh. I knew it's an amount that they can't give me. Right. So I didn't want to refuse. But yeah. I told them, just give me 800K. I yeah. knew they, they couldn't offer that. But it did come from a place of anger and bitterness. I mean, it was just like, bro, let's please. talk about this budget first. Uh, uh, <laughs> please, you know. Because yeah. uh, it's a station that has built its name from destroying people's careers. They take okay. you in and they just let you go like that after a period of time. So Tricky left. Right. Yeah. So when Tricky left, they were trying to look for a replacement for my show, but they couldn't find the person that could fit the budget. Right. So they just decided to swap us. The drive show came to the breakfast. I was taken to the drive show, and uh, now we, we 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 reunited with my colleague uh, Baruk Malim. Right. That's where uh, fire blew the up. Chemistry you know? now. Yeah. Blew up. Yeah. And 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 looking at you know what you've done and what you're still doing even on social media, you're so passionate about informing people, your segments that you do, and some of your videos have actually gone viral in yeah. so many countries as well. Mm -hmm. Now talk about how you come to this personality here you are on radio but now you're now digital as well you have your videos all over social yeah, media yeah. and you're not just uh, recording videos you're encouraging people and making them learn something yeah, when and I, it became a thing when i was doing the breakfast show at radio maisha i came up with something called kaulia siku kaulia which siku. is like uh, a wake-up call uh -huh. every 6 30 okay. i was doing kaulia siku it was just an encouragement to people like uh if you wake up in the morning, just waking up and like being in your right mind, that's a blessing in itself. Forget about oh, yeah. where you're going to get the food, where if you're going to get the gig, if you're going to get the money, just waking up is a blessing. Now use that because at the end of the day, the sun will rise and the sun will set. So nothing will stop that. So if you are alive, that's a blessing. And it means God has a purpose for you. Right. Do that purpose. Fulfill right. that purpose. So... Me, I didn't realize that it has so much impact until when I left the breakfast show. So when people were right. saying, Billy Bana, bring that Kaulia Siku. It inspired right. me a lot. It made me change. It, uh, I wanted to commit suicide, but through Kaulia Siku, I got encouragement. Right now, I have a family, you know? And I realized right. it was a big, big thing, you know? And uh, right. now I realize that I need to talk to people on a daily because so many people hurt in social media. When you see people right. trolling guys, it's not that they are feeling good. They are hurting and just they are just directing that anger into yeah. trolling other people on social media. So I decided right. to do something that is going to encourage them and give them hope in life. Right. Yeah. And and, 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 and I love the fact that you know, even in a man's perspective, <laughs> mentally being in a space where you you are you are able to easy. not only just uh, do it for yourself, but you're also doing it for other people is something that's life changing. It, true. True, right. true. And you know, uh, as men, we have a lot of responsibility. You right. know, we have so much going through our head. You know, uh, like me, I woke up in the morning like I was coming to Y254. Right. But for a woman, she can wake up in the morning, sit on that bed or sit on that chair, watch TV, and everything goes. But for yeah. a man, you yeah. have to go out there and find, and find something for yeah. the family. 
you know you know there's so much going on through your mind and right. you hardly have time for yourself right. for a woman they can cry and take the stress away but right. for a man you cannot cry right. even in the bathroom you cannot cry you have yeah. to go out there and make sure your family eats right you know so men are going through a lot and uh, right. found a way of just like talking to them giving right. them encouragement and even posting job opportunities to them you know that's how i've been right. able to help my community around me all right now before we talk about balancing because <laughs> now you're you're highly present on, on on social media platforms and people know you in other words you're famous anyways <laughs> but now you have an you have an amazing colleague of yours and uh, uh juicy you on a very interesting tv platform as well and you guys were talking like how do you balance between you know having a female colleague yeah. or you guys your chemistry is just so conspicuously amazing yeah. to a point you're a married man you have kids, True. your wife trusts you, True. but then this lady is also married, but now people on social media think <laughs> that you guys have we a thing dating. going on, you're <laughs> dating, she's, you know, she's your side chick yeah. and whatnot. As in, how do you deal with that energy and those comments and those DMs? You know, the thing is, in this world, nothing is supposed to put you down as long as you're focused. If you stay focused, every other thing is noise, okay. you know? And... Issues to do with trust. You know, trust is uh, is hard to build. Right. You know, it's very hard to build, but it can break in a second. And when it breaks, it doesn't come back. You know. Now, when uh, like when you're like in a in a media house or you are a celebrity, you know, it's so difficult to deal with uh, female colleagues when you're married. But it starts with you. Whom do you marry? Right. Do you marry your friend? Do you marry right. someone who trusts you? Someone who can take a bullet for you? Right. So, uh, my wife is someone who trusts me. Because there's some things I say on radio, like people say, ah, how will your wife take it? Right. You know, because I, mostly I do my life experience. You know, like uh -huh. what happened, uh, maybe when you do something bad in the house. Like, uh, are you an opposite of yourself, you and your wife? So, she trusts right. me so much that she knows I cannot do certain limits or certain things you know right. so if your wife trusts you if your partner trusts you right. she'll be free with you and let you do what you can do right. but if you show them <clears throat> another side of you if you cheat on them if you're not straightforward right you know if you're not and straightforward clear. with them mm -hmm. they won't trust you like right. me my phone it doesn't have a password uh, her phone doesn't have a she password easily can access she it. can access it anytime if she wants right. to send money to her chama give me your phone I'll do it. She takes it. If my right. phone is on the car, then she just takes it, uh, takes someone or sends money to someone. So right. I've been able to build that trust that she knows I cannot do anything. Anything, you know, yeah. because there's trust. Yeah. And, and still on that balance point, you know, when it comes to radio, radio is really heavy. Very Because heavy. Uh, it's about persona, you know. The persona that you exude or exhibit on a show, it's totally different from sometimes what you are in real life. And mm. you could realize on radio, you are a comedian, but in real life, you have a crisis. Yeah. Or on radio, your personality is being sold as a teenager mm -hmm. for the personality of the station and yeah. even the target audience. Mm -hmm. But now, how did you manage to balance, you know, being the Billy on radio who is fun, free and open, outgoing, and then now coming back to your family to deal with your wife and kids and forgetting now the media person, leaving it at the studio yeah. and going back to you? To a husband if you want to hack it right. don't change your character okay. if you change your character it's very difficult to hack that's why uh, those comedians that have been like doing character are like facing out right now just be you like me I'm just being me and right. I usually take radio as therapeutic right. so I get therapy every four hours every day of the week right yeah so I laugh a lot I crack jokes, I speak to people, I listen to their problems, I give them jokes, you know, I, I share issues with my own worldview. So if you take it as therapy, you'll enjoy it. Right. But if you like change your character now, I'm now doing radio, now I'm off radio, you know, right. it's not like that. Personally, right. I'm a very quiet person. Right. I don't speak but already a lot, loud. but I'm the loudest, <laughs> the loudest on radio guy. because yeah. I take it as therapeutic to me. All right. no, I really but I feel like that's stress. persona still. On radio, you're loud in person, you're quiet. So you switch to the loud personality. It's not, it's not switching per se. You know, uh -huh. there's something the mic does to you. It's called a theater. <laughs> yeah. a theater there's the something mind. the mic does to does you that to you, you know. 
Sijaelewa paka leo ya. If you just right. open that mic and the Boom. music right. just blows up. Right. It's and not like I'm changing the personality per se, but I'm just right. quiet. But right. when I open the mic, something just happens. Yeah. The, the all the words the yeah. million stories start coming out <laughs> they're just coming out yeah. <laughs> right now f from your experience as a veteran broadcaster do you feel like the dynamics of radio have changed and uh, i remember there's somebody who said like right now radio is dead but then there's a lot of people who came at him and said no radio is not dead in fact radio is now at its peak bro do you feel like radio is dead bro radio is not going anywhere anytime right. radio is here to stay bro yeah. TV is going to face out. That's a fact. Uh -huh. TV is going to face out. It's going to be faced out by the digital media. Right. But radio, radio is going nowhere, bro. Radio is bay. You know, radio, and we usually say that we have face for radio because right. you can be there doing your stuff, even in your, in your swimming costume, in your underwear, underpants, right. and no one realizes. Right. Radio is good vibes. And radio, you can listen to it anywhere. Right. You're in a shamba, you're in a mat, you're anywhere. You know, I realized it when, uh, like, uh, a month ago, right. I went and bought a radio. Imagine. Katululu, hile. Hile radio, hile. All right. Yeah. Because there's something I wanted. I was not getting it in these other radio uh -huh. stations, you right. know. So I went and bought a radio. So Physical if this one. century... Right. 2023, I can still buy a radio, right. me as a radio person. Because, you know, media personalities usually don't usually really Listen, consume their, yeah, their product. Their context, it's like you know. you've been in the newsroom the whole day, you know all the stories that are there, so you don't really need to, to consume. But right. if I bought a radio, it means radio is still not going anywhere. Because, right. you know, you, you can get so much on radio, so much from news, entertainment, uh, comedy, name them drama right. you know so i think radio it has not even reached its peak by the way right it has not yet it has we not are not even started ah, yet <laughs> because if i compare radio from uh, the previous right. uh, years when i started is when the social media was building you know people right. were just like making faces of these guys like right. ah this guy might be fat he must yeah. be he might be thin now, when yeah. you meet them in person... The voice is big, but the person is so, slender. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the voice is tiny, but the person is... True. You know. So, but right uh -huh. now, social media came in. It added another aspect. All right. You know? And this aspect mm -hmm. is... Because initially, people... Radio personality, personalities used to be mysterious. Right. They didn't want and to And that be was known. the flavor of it. Yeah. Yeah. That was the but juice. But now, when yeah. social media came... Uh, digital. Now, people want... Yeah. When digital came, people want to see these guys. Mm -hmm. Know your life. Know your yeah. lifestyle, if you have a family, what you do during the day. So right. if you continue sharing these segments, people fall in love with you more. Right. Because you know? now they can see you. They can see you. you. They put a face in you. Kwa nafsanga, eh, kumbe bili ni mausi. Yeah, you could be bad. You know? You see? All right. Uh -huh. So I think social media has added a, a flavor in radio. The right. digital world has added a flavor to radio. That's why you have uh, digital uh, FM stations. We have the uh, audiovisual stations right, right now in Kenya that are still picking up. You see? Right. And uh, if you want to know radio is not dying, people started with podcasts. Yeah? Exactly. It Which is a combination out. of audio visual. Yeah. You know. Postcard first out. Right, right now it's coming in. It's coming back coming again. Back again. It's, it's yeah. trying to be a big thing. YouTube is also creating a podcast segment. So right, sure. it means. Are you making use of that yourself as well? Yeah, I'm on YouTube. A bro. lot. Yeah. I'm on YouTube. Right. I'm on YouTube. Uh, that's why I even opened my own company. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Called Bill Your Clock. Right. We'll talk about that as, uh, to, towards as we near towards the end. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I'd also like you to tell us some of the secrets of, you know, being in the media space. Uh, what were some of the highs and lows that were actually life changing? But before that, Abu, tell us what is your philosophy in radio? or just basically generally media mm -hmm. that can touch on all other aspects. For a person who's watching, they're so passionate about you know, wanting to be in this space on this side of the camera or mm -hmm. behind the mark. What is the philosophy that they can follow? It could be your own personal philosophy yeah. or just a general lesson. The thing is, why do you want to do media? Why do you want to become a celebrity? All is right. it to get the girls? All right. yeah. Is it to get gigs? Or is all it right. to change people's lives? Because right. uh -huh. the philosophy of media has not changed. Right. Inform, educate, entertain. Right. These three aspects, they have to be there. 
Now, do you want to just go in there to become a celebrity, roll with yeah. the women, drink yeah. with the big guys, roll with the politicians and everything? Bamba with the big boys. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you want to bamba with, with the big the, boys. You know. <laughs> That's the phrase. You know. <laughs> you is it bamba. that? Uh -huh. Or you just want to change people's lives? All right. The purpose is very important. All My right. purpose is to change a life a day. All right. If, if your purpose is to change a life a day, you'll enjoy radio. And right. you'll have, you have at least a link or two right. for changing someone's life. Because it's not right. about entertainment, bro. It's about right. changing someone's life, giving them an opportunity, giving right. them hope and encouragement, right. playing good music to uplift their spirit, you know. Right. So my philosophy is, why are you getting into radio? Right. Go in there to change someone's life. Right. Go in there to be therapy to someone who is not doing good. Right. Yeah, because right now the economy is not okay, bro. True. People are suffering. True. Now, will they come to listen to you to like get depressed more? No. Yeah. No, we don't want that. Yeah. Now, uh, talk about now, what were some of the highs or some of the lows <laughs> that were life changing to you that have shaped you till today? Uh, and you'd say, this one, oh my God, I'm still learning, I'm still healing. But uh, already you're a healed person. <laughs> <laughs> you're whole and, and here you are. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, when I used to be trolled, uh -huh. so when social media started, when I lost my job at Pony FM, that right. same guy went on social media and said, this guy faked his certificate. In fact, we saved him from being arrested. You know, same guy, bro. Same guy. So that really brought me down. But again, uh, there's a, uh, a woman called Esther Ngolo. Uh -huh. She called me personally, told me, Billy, just uh, close your ears to everything that is happening. I know you personally. I know you can't do that. I know this guy personally. He used to do the same thing to me. The right. same thing he's doing to you, he used to do it to me. So just let it go. Do your stuff. I know you're going to get the problem somewhere else, you know. Mm -hmm. That really put me down, but when she called me, it really encouraged me, right. uplifted my spirit, and uh, the rest is history. Right. Yeah. So that wow. was one And you forgive. Things. Forgiveness. Ah, bro. <laughs> The good thing about me, and I thank God for that, I right. forget very fast. Right. Until someone raises it, then I remember, I yeah. remember this thing this happened. happened, yeah. Right. So I forget very fast, and I okay. thank God for that, because you cannot be putting things in your head. And yeah. in someone who is watching me well. right now, <laughs> you know, your head right. is a precious place. Right. Do not let anyone on anything stay rent-free in your head. In your head. If you let it stay rent free, it's going to hurt you. Right. It's going to eat up space. And that space on your medulla could be like being creative also. Yeah. So I let go easily and I forget easily and I forgive easily. Right. Yeah. So that is one of the laws that uh, happened. But uh, uh, one of the that, highs, you know. After that, it's been yeah. high after high, bro. It's been high after early Mekua. Mekua too. Nilianza na 10K, bro. 10K. Uh -huh. At the end of the month, the first time I got my salary at Pony FM, right. I, I called my dad and mom. Now from today, don't buy airtime. I'm the one who's going to supply you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, bro, bana. I how did mom feel? And how did dad feel? They felt you well, that? but bro, uh -huh. I didn't even do the 15th of the month, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then I, I rose to 45k at uh -huh. uh, Barak FM, 80k at uh, Milele. 250 there at uh, Maisha. Maisha. Mm -hmm. And now I'm good, bro. You can only imagine it's just going upward. All right. Yeah. So it's been blessings on top of blessings. Blessing after yeah. blessing, bro. And I thank God for that. You know. All right. Yeah. Now, um, uh, as we near towards the end, maybe are there things that you feel like they should change in as much as uh, you mentioned, you know, we, we want to be famous anyways. Mm -hmm. But anyways, media exposes you. Media doesn't, uh, for me, I feel like media doesn't help. It exposes your character. It shows what you project and how even your chemistry with other colleagues yeah. as well. So in terms of that, do you feel like as we near towards the future, things are going to change? Your, people are going to check into mental health facilities. People are going to have to forgive. You have to let go. Yeah. Now it's square beef to social media. Yeah. Atapu in real life here to, to let go. Do you feel like it's going to change? You know, one thing that uh, affects uh, most of uh, celebrities is like putting a fake life out there. People feel like once you go on TV or radio, magic. They, 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 they equate the fame to cash. Right. Now, the problem with uh, some of us is like we want to like do an equilibrium. Right. You go to circles, you take loans. 
you loan your colleagues. So at the end of the day, you feel like you have a lot of debts and you cannot uh, keep up with the life right. and you get into depression. Right. Just be you. Just right. be you. You have it, you have it. You don't have it, you don't have it. Just right. live at the level that you can. Uh, bite what you can uh, swallow and right. it will all be good. But if you try to live a life that's not yours, it will be chini. Right. Na so, ni kwamba, like, just live according to your standard. Live yeah. according to how you feel. And if you be real, me what has helped me is being real. Right. Billy, where do you stay? I stay in Mlolongo. Right. Ah, when I thought you stay in Kilelesho. No, I right. stay in Mlolongo. You just be real with people. And you're and not ashamed I, to You, you, should, you no. shouldn't be ashamed, bro. Because yeah. at the end of the day, people think that presenters, celebrities don't feel pain. Right. Like even if you paint them, they don't feel pain. Right. See, tunasota. <laughs> Tunakuat broken, you know. We pass through all that. We are just normal human beings with normal lives. So if you live a normal life, right. you'll rise. Right. You know, trusting the process is very important. But yeah. people don't trust the process. We want they to want skip. To make it like we say, let the process trust us. This yeah, time. Yeah, you one know, one <laughs> process is to trust. Bro, trust the process. Bro. Trust the process, no matter how that, long ah, it takes. That thing, <laughs> bro, me when I used to be in Mombasa, I did right. like eight years, and people younger than me, people right. who have trained, were right. coming to Nairobi and leaving me there. People right. are saying. Ah, Billy Bana, you got, you are too good to be in Mombasa. Why are right. you not going, Bana? I told and up them, and pressure, yeah. See your time, yango. Right. When time Timing comes, comes, you know. And the time came. All right. Yeah. So All just right. trust the process. Trust the process. Yeah. Please trust the process yeah. and be patient. Uh, I'm told we only have less than a minute, so you can talk about some of the projects that you have, and uh, 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 one of the biggest thing that you know uh, people can look out for when it comes to your social media, because I understand you're making a lot of videos as well with yeah. your amazing friends. So <laughs> talk about that uh, shortly as yeah. we exit, and then also where people can find you on social media as well and get in contact with you. Yeah. This is your camera. Uh, you can find me on social media through Billy Mia Facebook, Billy Mia Instagram, Billy Mia uh, uh, TikTok and Twitter, and I uh, also own a media house. It's called Billy O'Clock. It's a website and a YouTube channel where I right. do stories, uh, encouragement stories, you know, uh, social events and everything. I also have a fashion house called Chamviga Designs. Right. This, everything here is from Chamviga Designs. Uh -huh. So I design Your suits, own company. wedding gowns. Yeah, it's a company called Chamviga Designs. It's also yeah. on social media where right. we do dress a lot of people, you know. So, yeah. Including that's your about colleagues. It. <laughs> Including my colleagues, yeah. Right. That's about it, by the way. Right. Yeah. I've really learned a lot from you and I wish we had more time because I, I had many questions, but I think we can do a part two. Yeah. Right? <laughs> we, can we can do, do it with my, with my love. Mami Francis. Mami Francis. Shout out to her. Alisa mata kuja next Tuesday. Tuweza kuja nae. Mtarudi tena. Ukirusu utakuja nae. Uspote. Uspote. Na pia sisi we can invite us. We can do a collabo. Yeah. Why meet radio. Yeah. That would be amazing. You're welcome. All right. Thank you so much Billy for your time and coming through and gracing our morning show. All right, on that note, uh, we're going to end it here. But as always, you can engage with us on our social media, and that includes Facebook, Insta, and on Twitter at Y254 channel. Personal is at Brian Sakwan1, or still on the hashtag Y in the morning. And also, we have our TikTok channel at Y254 channel on TikTok. See you again next time, right here.